afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel so today again i'm coming at you from a very different background but i just wanted to do the pin video while i was here in my room um you might have seen my room tour so i wanted to kind of give you a more in-depth look at my pin board um collecting pins is something that is very new to me so i haven't done a lot of pin collection before um but i am a bit like a magpie and when i see shiny things i'm like oh my gosh i need it um so pins have kind of fitted into that category and then i've picked like one up here and there um and now it's expanding and for a very long time my pins sat in a drawer however I have now gone out and brought myself a little cork board. So I picked this cork board up from, uh, I believe it was Hobbycraft and I paid about £5.50 for it. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to like show you guys the works of my little pin board and all the different pins that I have as well. So let's jump into this video and have a look at my pin collection. Okay guys, so I have actually kind of laid the pin board down and brought you over to my bed because um, I just thought this is the easiest way I could show you. I could take them all off individually, um, but knowing my brain, I would forget where they all went. Um, so, jumping straight into the pins, I think the very, very first pins, if I can get it to focus, there we go. The very, very first pins that I got was this one here, which is the Tokyo Disney Sea pin, and this little Easter one, and this little Easter one. Um, so these I picked up from Tokyo Disney when I went in 2018 um, These two here were actually part of a game um, So you like played a game to win a plush prize um, But if you didn't win the plush prize then you got pins um, And I'm kind of gutted that I didn't go back and play another two times Because there was four pins that you could get um, But I ended up picking up Miss and Minnie Mouse um, And then I also picked up Chip and Dale as well and then, like I said, this little Tokyo Disney Sea here. Um, now, I don't remember the order that I bought all these pins, um, but I will tell you where each of them are from, if I can remember, and when I got them. Um, this little Duffy Hidden Mickey pin that I've got here, I picked this up from a expo, I believe, quite a few years ago, um, when I used to go to MCM Comic Con in London. So that is where that one is from. Um, I picked up this absolutely gorgeous pin, if you guys can see it, I might have to adjust it, there we go. Um, so I was a part of Magic Pin, which was on the 50th anniversary at Disney, um, and I picked that up from a pickup service, I want to say Pixie Dust Pickups, and they are over on Facebook, um, because I missed out on that pin, I was really gutted. Then we've got a couple of hundred year pins, so you've got the Mickey and Minnie, I picked that up on my trip when I went back in October of last year um, and I also picked up this gorgeous Mickey pin as well um, again same trip picked that up too so I was really happy with that um, and then finally here in the middle we've got the 30th anniversary pin um, that I picked up from Disneyland Paris when we did our trip back in February um, because I just thought it was a gorgeous pin and it's nice to remember these milestones within Disney then down here at the bottom hopefully we can get the lighting right there we go um on my collection of walt disney world pins so the rainbow castle i picked that up on my very first trip to disney world in 2019 then the coronado springs one i picked up on our october trip when we stayed there last year um the polynesian village one i picked that up um I believe that was when we went in June 2022 and we ate at Ohana um, just because I wanted a little pin to remember it um, and then I believe this little guy down here I picked up from Walmart or Target one or two but I think it was Walmart. Um, a couple of Aristocat pins so again this one I picked up at a expo I believe MCM Comic Con expo quite a few years ago now I just thought it was the most gorgeous pin um, and I needed it in my collection so I got that one then I also picked up Marie and Sven Big Feet and that was from another pickup service and I believe that was from a sale of oh I can't remember I'll link it down below um, when I find it um, I want to say Ali something but anyway um, but I picked those up in a sale and I just love them um, I now need the whole collection obviously 
And then guys, in this corner, you have got my Up collection. So these two here, I picked up on my October trip. It came as a set of two and I just love them. So I had to have those. And then off of Shop Disney recently, I've picked up the Grape Soda Pen and Doug and Kevin's Babies. Now I believe these are part of the Up Anniversary collection. Um, but yes, when I asked look, they were still available on Shop Disney if you did want to get them for yourselves. Um, but by the time this video goes up, it might have been a little while. Um, so don't hold me to that. Then up here again from a pickup service, which is the same one that I got the big feet pins from. Um, again, I'm really bad. I've totally forgotten um, the name of the company, but I will put it down in the description below. Um, I picked up this gorgeous star pin from a sale. Um, and then I got this gorgeous Baymax pin. Again, I believe this was a Disney World pickup, but I can't remember exactly when I got it. Um, but I know it's been fairly recent. I've also got a pair of the socks bags that they were doing. Um, funny story about this, so my friend was desperately after the Winnie the Pooh pair to finish her collection. So she bought two bags and I brought two bags and then we opened them together while I was in the Magic Kingdom on a video call. Um, and we actually got two pairs of Lady and the Tramp and two pairs of Winnie the Pooh. Um, so I have kept the two pairs that I bought because I was not leaving without the Winnie the Pooh socks. Then in this corner, I have got my little rescuers collection. So I absolutely adore um, Bernard and Bianca from the rescuers. They are just the cutest little couple. Um, so yes, I have got two pins of those. Well, technically three. Um, but I've got this little Bernard pin and he is holding a bit of cheese. Miss Bianca as well. I can't remember where I got these. It, honestly, I literally cannot remember. Um, and then I have got the gorgeous little rain one, which I bought off Shep Disney. So yeah, they are those ones. But I, can't, I really wish I could remember where I got those two. On the top row here, we have got my Wishables pins. Um, I really need more of this collection. Like I think these are just absolutely adorable, these little pins, but I've only ever brought one bag. I wish I definitely bought more of them. So these are series one. Um, and I've got little Nemo, Olaf, Sven, and then Tigger and Pooh. Um, and when I looked at the bag, the ones that I really wanted were all of those. And I could not believe it when I got all of them. And then, like I said earlier, I've got the little socks pin there of Winnie and Tigger, if we can get it in better lighting. I really do apologise, my room is not set up for lighting. Um, and then over in this corner, which is my biggest collection that I've got so far, is my Winnie the Pooh collection. So let's go through that one. Okay guys, so on my last trip I could not resist buying the mystery packs, um, there's something amazing and so much fun about mystery packs, um, so I got them, I cannot remember the, remember the name of it, there's the words, um, but it was the one that came in the little box um, and I just loved it so much. Um, so I managed to get these two piglet pins, the Pooh Bear pin and the Eeyore pin from that, um, and like I said that was on my last trip out there. Um, I've picked this one up, I believe, off of Shop Disney. Um, I do believe in that, absolutely. Um, then this little Winnie the Pooh one with these little charms here, I picked up on my trip when I went in 2019. Um, and then the little Easter collection just up the top here. They were a pickup from a website. I can't remember which one, but I just love them. They're so cute. Um, and then this little guy here is from Tokyo Disney. Um, I can't remember whether I got him in Tokyo Disney. I think I might have got him, um, I want to say, was it? Yeah, I think I picked him up from the Disney store actually. Um, but he was just the cutest and I did buy two of them, but unfortunately I got the same two. And I can't for the life of me remember what I did with the second one that I had. Um, but I just thought it was the cutest little pin and it came in a little mystery box, so I loved that. Um, and then finally, on my pin board, I've got my May May pins, which I picked up um, in October, and I bought these from, I think it was Box Lunch, I want to say. I don't think I brought anything in Hot Topic, um, but I love turning red, especially May May in her panda form. Um, and then I have also got this Wally and Eva um, pin, and I just love it. It's so cute. Uh, fun fact, the moon actually goes in the dark at night, and the only reason why I know that is because every now and then I see a little light shining from my pin board uh, in the corner of my room. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's my Wally pin. 
Um, but yes, so obviously that is my pin board at the moment. It is looking very sparse. It does need a lot more pins. Um, but yes, let's talk about that. Yes, so in terms of pins, I am very much new to the world of pins and I am loving it. But obviously my board needs a lot of work and I'm also very, very excited to go to the parks and be able to pin trade, which is one of my biggest goals. So over the course of the next year, I'm going to be trying to get a bit of a collection going um, so that I can pin trade because I really want to try that. And also like buy more pins to fill up the space on my pin board. I definitely need more Baymax pins because Baymax is one of my favourites. Um, Wally and Eva pins I definitely need those so yeah I, there's a lot that I need but I can't wait to like fill up the board and then get it on my wall as well in its pride and place um, but yeah so that is my pin collection so I hope you guys enjoyed if you are really enjoying the content that is going up on my little channel please don't forget to like comment and subscribe all your your support is massively appreciated there's the words I always lose my words um, but if you're really enjoying the content, um, hit the little notification bell in the corner and that will tell you every time that I upload. At the moment, I am uploading every other week um, just because I want to make sure that the content I'm putting out, I'm really happy with. Um, but yes, if not, I will see you guys real soon. Bye, guys.